Titans or the Boxing Gloves. Boxing Gloves are Pog Champ or the uh, ones from Cross. I don't remember the exact skin. He's wearing like okay. a hat and they have like cannons on them. Is it the pinstripe like barrels? Suit? Uh, I mean, the I one with cards in the in the gauntlets. Uh, Is that? A I don't remember. There's a lot of good gauntlet ones. Although, since World Championship around the corner, you got to bring out the boxing gloves with the BCX on the yeah, strap. Yeah, boxing that's, gloves are probably the best ones. Three, two, that's that's the one that you got to bust out. But here we go. Game number one, losers quarterfinal, Heisen versus Swada and Heisen. Starting off with the gauntlet play, Swada. Going for a lot of these grinded options, and Heisen just above it. Just money hopping over Swada. Honestly, I'm willing to put my reputation on the line and say that gauntlets have the best skins overall. Ooh, Absolutely that's a big the best statement. One. They have really cute ones. They have really cool ones. They have like really savage looking edgy ones. They have the uh, uh, like Goldforge or Skyforge. Goldforge specifically looks like the Infinity Gauntlet, so you can play Thanos Jake and you make him purple. Like, <laughs> Gauntlets have the best skins, bar none. I, you know, uh, I, I, I'm not sure I agree. I think there's a good argument for Sword with uh, things like Francesca and the, um, what, what is what is the skin? I don't even know. Right now, Hammer though, stomp into the side air. Heisen gets the first stock with fantastic plays. Of course, this is this is why we recommended the core for Heisen. He's got great gauntlets, he's got great hammer. See, people need to listen to me more. Fire extinguisher, That's that was what I was trying yeah, to Yeah, but that's two. Overall, Gauntlets are the best looking in the game. And Heisen's one of the best looking in the game right now. If I also take responsibility for the loss, I also get the credit for the victory, so. Very true, very true. Um, as his unofficial coach here for game number one, you get all the credit regardless. But Heisen is the one playing right now, has the damage advantage over Swata. Swata sticking with the ax in hand, but not finding connections. You see him trying to go for these dare approaches now, trying to adapt to the fact that Heisen was playing floaty, but the dares are just not hitting. Man, Heisen seems to be like inside Swata for so many yeah. of these hits. Like the Nairs and the Dares, Heisen's just like inside that cone of safety or that sphere of safety, that sphere of no influence for Swata. Stomp side air. Needs to be going for the stomp neutral signature more if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of in-game coaching coming out from Sparky. I don't know if Heisen's got the, the headphones in, but... Heisen doing a really good job on the movement against Swada. Like, Swada's trying to put distance in. Now you're seeing the three Ps uh -oh. come out. Nice recovery. Heisen in trouble. Here comes the hammer for the uh -oh. side airs. Heisen in a lot of trouble here, but Swada doesn't throw it uh -oh. out. He's going to wait for the stop side air on the corner. All right, look, Heisen is his own man. He can make his own decisions. <laughs> he doesn't have to listen to me. That's not my fault. <laughs> oh, it goes to the side light. GCD sig. Five Take your credit. After that. Man, I'm so smart telling him to play his core. <laughs> Swada, on the other hand, of course, pandering to me with the Taros. Doing really well for himself, keeping close with Heisen. Heisen's got some great gauntlets. Oh, my goodness. Getting him with the beat him up. But Swada, able to put out a lot of damage per hit. He's okay with taking some of these trades as long as he starts winning in neutral. But Heisen puts him off stage with the gauntlets. Where's the weapon spawn? Oh, he needs to be careful. Oh. Not enough damage for the full Russian Mafia. Swata over on the edge. Big side air for Heisen. Yo, if he wins this set with Core, I'll buy him, Jake. <laughs> oh, it's the Nair! Didn't even send off screen! Got him with an awkward angle on that Nair. We'll say. Got him with kind of the back end of it. Good dodge through, but Swana not able to find the hit. Stomp, but didn't have the damage onto Heisen. The spot dodge through the scoops. Oh, it's Stomp, so side air. Heisen's in trouble. Weapon toss. Good dodge through. Swata jumps over the weapon toss of his own in the down air. Swata, one more down air. Doesn't hit. Oh, Heisen no! doesn't get the wall touch. And Swata going to take game number one. Sparky with the egg on his face. Look, like I said, Heisen's his own man. He Two damage his, difference. He can make his own decisions. <laughs> I told him to stomp Insig more. Oh, he's, he's still going for it, too. What Bro, a king. if he loses this. <laughs> he said stomp Insig is, is not his type. 
but yeah, this is this is a loser <laughs> yeah, bracket. What is Heisen doing? Not my time. What is Heisen doing? Re- listening to me, <laughs> like this is something that there are some people in the European region that I absolutely adore, and it's for things like this. Like this just reminds me of the World Championship where I was recording B roll and Pavelski mid tournament match just stopped and stared at me recording and lost like two stocks because he just <laughs> wanted to make a face at the camera, and he still won the set. And it's just like that is. So quintessential to why I love some of these European kids. True king mentality. Pound. Oh, yo, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Heisen, I'm one of the best coaches that Brahal has <laughs> ever seen. Part of the creed, who? I was going to say small pool of people for that one. Heisen, though, with a massive lead here in game number two off that edge guard with the hammer. Swata finding more initiations than he was able to find the previous stock. Gets a nice side signature. He's been using those pretty well so far. Heisen taking his time to get back. He's kind of playing chicken with Swata there, and Swata bailed earlier. <laughs> there's a weapon. Come on, man. There's a weapon spawn. You let Swata get it. Yo, but that was so cheeky the way he was, like, pulling back and then immediately would go over with those kicks. He's got the health advantage. He's definitely got some room to play around with Swata if he wants to go for some of this cheekiness. Swada, on the other hand, going to start looking for the knockout tool. Stomp into the side air. Weapon toss, not going to connect. Goes off stage against a hammer. A little bit of riskiness coming out from Swada, but it's not a knockout. You didn't see Swada drop that GC uh, D-Light into the side air like he did earlier. Heisen going really high with that one. Swada was expecting him to fast fall it down, so he went for the side air after the side light nair. Heisen back with the gauntlets. Weapon toss down to hopefully cover his landing, but a D-Light into the recovery from Swada is going to get the KO there. Not too far behind in damage. And Swada opting to stick with the hammer. He had his pick between the axe and the hammer, and of course he's sticking with his hammer for all this damage. He is putting out onto the snowman, putting that snowman into the yellow, and Heisen steals the stage control and the weapon toss is trouble for Swada, but he gets back up. The hammer v hammer game is kind of not going Heisen's way so far. Swada's finding more hits compared to what Heisen's being able to find. Heisen's still in the lead though, but he had a much larger lead at the beginning of this game. Doesn't hit the ground pound. Heisen with the turnaround side air and Swada doesn't have the movement. Heisen gonna take the first stock. But like you're saying, I don't think he was winning in the straight hammer mirror match and he is gonna go for the gauntlets. Ooh, right, even that up. Good play from Swada coming out. From the gauntlets from Heisen. He's been able to add up so much damage so quickly every time he's got these gauntlets on him. Swada gonna play a little bit of this distance game for a moment. Went for the big play there with the D-Light into the side signature. Oh. Expecting Swada to go down. Doesn't fall prey to the side signature like he did last time. Has a hammer in his hand. Dual stops from both players. Both of them missing, but Heisen does find the neutral light. Swada now in the orange, getting closer to red. Heisen being careful here. Nair. Just the stomps over the edge. Swada comes in, hits that unarmed nair, the down air. Finish it up, Heisen. Another scoop. One ah! more, and Swada's in trouble. Big neutral sin. Let's go! Heisen gonna take game number two over Swada, but look at the damage difference. They are so incredibly close in damage difference. Last one was by two. This one is by, quick, do the math, 17. I already, I, I went all the way through it. Oh, okay. I was gonna let you have that one. You're, you, you're definitely in control of it. Just be more confident you're in your math. You're the athlete here. You're the I'm one with the- Really, really not, really not that good at math. You're a math very major, right? Very bad at math. You have a PhD in math? Nope, Swata gonna make the swappa over to Asuri. Heisen sticking with the core, of course, pandering to Sparky. And you know what? It's working. Maybe pander towards us a little more, and you might win your sets. We'll it's not find pandering. Out. It's making an educated decision using every single neuron in your brain. Lots of uh, gray matter in that yes. big old brain of his. Starting off here in game number three on Small Brawl Haven. Swada with this Asuri bringing out the Katars, bringing out the sword. Goes for the ground pound, but Heisen beats it out with the gauntlet recovery. 
Now, Swat as a Suri is level 62 coming into this. One of his higher legends for sure. I think it's one of his top three legends. Uh, top four legends. High isn't starting to open this up. He is a little bit behind. Still has Swata in the yellow. That side air put him in the orange. Now both players are in the orange side signature. Just kind of probe and throwing it out. He's far enough away from the corner that Swata's not going to be able to punish that. I can't believe that D-Light didn't hit, though. Now Heisen stuck on this corner. Swata can't go for anything too crazy here. Might want to try to punish Heisen if his head clips over the corner, but Heisen gets up safely. Neutral light puts him off stage. Another weapon toss coming out from Swata. Goes high, doesn't opt for a ground pound. Again, just that threat of the vertical from the hammer. Now something that Swata won't have here is that really high strength that comes off of the Terrace pick. So it's going to take a lot more to KO Heisen than it did previously. He's not going to find those early KOs. So if you're going like hammer v hammer against Heisen like he was earlier with Taros, like the Taros is finding those stomp side airs and those stomp dares as KOs earlier than Heisen was able to. You know, uh, it's definitely going to take a lot longer to get these knockouts if he's going for weapon tosses as well. He was doing a lot of those weapon tosses. They were good at stealing away the stage from Heisen, but oh, he dodged in on it. He got through the stomp and Sig, and Heisen still finds a way to find the knockout. Neutral light coming in, going to start this off. Nice, three Ooh. piece, four piece, grabs the hammer, oh. five piece, six piece, five and a half piece, weapon toss, <laughs> eh. On his way to getting that family meal. Didn't come with a large side or two, but right now the gauntlet's coming out from Heisen to steal away more damage from Swada. Falling neutral air from Swada, not going to lead to much, but he gets the spot dodge punish and a ground pound. Keeps Heisen on that corner. So even in this game, that weapon spawn or weapon toss almost making contact. Swata was able to get through it, and then it became inactive. Recovery off the top. Heisen still maintaining this lead here against Swata. He's looking strong. Swata going to struggle a little bit to finish off this stock of Heisen. Of course, Core still having quite a bit of defense in this one. Even though he's a snowman, he's made out of rocks. And Swata, he's going to need like a downlight dare recovery, I think. Oh, no. All right. Now we see Still how close it. this set is between these two players. PR8 is highs and PR10 is Swata. They're so close to each other in PR. These are some really good games between them. We're already in game three here. We'll see if it makes it all the way to a game five. Wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility for sure. That spot dodge coming out, but Heisen's hitbox active frames are still going towards the end of that. Finding some more damage here, opening this final stock up a little bit more, continuing to make this lead a little bit bigger. Oh, gets the side air, sending Swata over to the left. Weapon spawns on the right. Not gonna be an obvious answer for Swata right now. He's still stuck on the wall. Gets through the nair from Heisen. Missed the falling side air, hits the neutral signature, will disarm Heisen, and he's got weapon control, but opts to move forward. Heisen going to pick up the gauntlets. Oh, man, almost got the side, the side air. air. That was so close. Throws the gauntlets away in the wrong toss? direction. I don't know. Here comes the hammer. Okay. Both of them so incredibly close. Swata needs more damage, though. Heisen could go for a stomp side air. Would be the knockout. Goes for a scoop. Oh, Spot man. dodges from Swata. He's going to switch over to the Katars. Goes for the weapon tosses. One more hit. No! Falling there. And Swata takes game number three. This is so close between the two of them. Now about 60 damage difference between them. He's still going with the core, <laughs> and I agree. He's going to take out Small Brawl Haven. That's where not having as much force, like with the Taros going back to the Asuri, he is going to feel that more on maps like Small Mammoth, like Apocalypse, and like Demon Island. You're not really going to feel that difference comparably on uh, the Small Brawl Haven because it's so, it's so small. It's like it's not even Small Brawl Haven because you have like Small Mammoth. It's just like really Small Brawl Haven because it's so small. Three, two, <laughs> S M O L small. Yeah, pl please say small a couple of more times just in case people don't quite get the gravity of the size differential, but. Here we are on to Mammoth, the smaller of the two Mammoths. And it's going to be Swat Up versus Heisen, sticking with their character picks. But Heisen, again, these gauntlets, so good at building damage for Heisen.
Another classic opener in this game coming out from Swata. He gets like the D light into the side light into the recovery, then follows that up with a down air. He's been doing that a lot on the early parts of Swata's stock because the recovery is not going to send him very far, so he's right there for a down air follow up. Oh, the stomp side air there from Heisen will disarm. Neutral signature catches Swata trying to move across. He wants this weapon pickup, does get it, but he's behind in the damage for sure. But Patas goes a little Oops, bit wide. Platform. I think he wanted the ground pound yeah. there. He's going to cancel that with a down heavy, but a weapon spawn comes in, easily grabs it. Oh, both players wanting to continue this edge guard. Heisen almost having enough range with the ground pound, but now he's backing up, being a little bit more Ooh. careful. Now he goes back in. Waiting for the exclamation points. Heisen finds the side light into the recovery, and he's going to be sticking with the gauntlet, sticking with the hammer. Yep, it's the gauntlet for the damage build. Heisen being very careful. He wants to initiate onto Swata's Katars. Sider's going to start it off. Swata goes over to the wall, spends some time there, moves back. Neutral stick coming out. Heisen going for the big option. Double Nairs from Swata. He's been finishing oh. off a lot of stocks with Nairs on the edge like that. Swata's going for these very safe options. Last game, there was a lot of these weapon tosses, and like you said, he had the Nair finish. Same thing here just now, going for a lot of these Nairs where I think other Qatar players would have gone for a side or would have gone for like a ground pound, something that hits a little bit harder. Swata's just like, I'm going to chip away and do just enough to get the stock. Ooh, Swata swipes it. Grabs the Katars right out from under Heisen after he threw away his gauntlets. Spawn coming in on the left side. Swata's going to have control over it. Soft platform here in the middle of the stage. Swata just patrolling the ground. Weapon spawn comes in high. Heisen grabs it immediately. Oh. Insig coming out. Loving the Insig usage from Heisen. I'd almost like to see a little bit more of it because it's so good. I'm hearkening back to like when Boomy was playing core multiple tournaments ago where he was just throwing out Insigs like candy. It's a great tool for covering a lot of space, but Gauntlets have some tools for covering stocks down light into the recovery to put Swata down to his final stock here in game number four. Heisen, very real possibility of shoving this into game number five with the core pick uh, per Sparky's request. Hey, it's working so far. If he doesn't get KO'd here, he's in a good spot. Whoever told Heisen to pick core, actually a genius brain in Brawlhalla. Local hero, if anything. <laughs> I think hero's a little dramatic. All right, guy. Swata. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. The Rest wide the weapon stock. stock. Heisen going to take game number four. Local hero pats himself on the back as he puts Heisen into game five. Heisen versus Swata. That wide weapon toss was so good, too. He hit the ground pound, threw the weapon toss 45 degrees into that push-off column. Beautiful play from Eisen. Swata now thinking about another character swap. Is it the Jay Yun? Is it time for the Jay Yun? Oh, back, back to the to Taros. The Taros. Taros was going closer to even. I think the, the Asuri worked. Um, obviously, because Swata was able to take a game, but I think that Taros was just more consistent when it came to the matchup. Ooh, and we have a kind of drastically different map set. Before, it was Mammoth, Apocalypse, and Demon Island going to Mammoth. Now we have Small Enigma, Small Great Hall, and Miami Dome. Swata wanted to open up those soft platform maps as possibilities to go to here. He's going to get Miami Dome, going to be less claustrophobic than the other two maps, but those blast zones on the left and the right, they are closer than you think. Yeah, as long as he's not going for the verticals, should be fine. Here we go, game number five, Swata with the, with the hammer pickup, Heisen with the gauntlets. A lot of jumping around, not a lot of damage coming out yet. Heisen just a little bit in the lead. Now has Swata in the yellow, putting out about 50 damage, 30 seconds into the game. Swata trying to probe in the air with those neutral airs. Now Heisen over stuck in the wall. Ooh, nice interesting. stop in light from Swata. 
So normally, stomp and light, not really an option anymore. It used to be like the close stacked option, but now it's become stomp into the scoop. That situation right there, where they're just barely peeking over the corner, is the one time stomp and light can be an option. Man, I'm worried about when I just saw that dare out of hit stun that came out from Swata. I'm worried about that going forward in the future. If that's going to halt some of Heisen's uh, gauntlet strings, that scares me a lot. Ooh, Swata. Didn't hit the neutral light. Heisen dodges the neutral or the falling side air, but Swata finds a neutral light and the down air puts Heisen off stage. Yes. He still has enough. Swata thought he was done for. Went for the gravity cancel down light. Why is he playing so risky yes. around this hammer? And Heisen gets the turn around. Sparky feeling good about this pick. Dude, Heisen avoided so many things that were going to kill him there. That had me on the edge of my seat, and Swata's going to even it up with the down air, sending right off the top. Choosing his weapon, it's going to be the axe. Didn't see a whole lot of axe in the first two games of this one. It ended up leaning more towards the hammer as the pick against Heisen because he was winning in the mirror match. But the axe might be strong here against the gauntlets of Heisen. But as I say it, Heisen is just finding openings inside. Oh, oh no. Heisen's definitely finding a way around Swata's floating. Ooh. Oh. Uh-oh, uh -oh. this uh -oh. bad. This uh -oh. bad. Uh-oh. He's got oh, to go Oh, this wall. is not good. Can't dip under. He got the touch, though, and the damage is done. Swata's got the stage control. Down Sig, and Swata has a sizable lead now. Now, he did find the D-Sig, but before that, he was hitting dares, and 2020 Axe Dare is not like 2017 Axe Dare. You're not finding KOs always in orange. Oh, no. Heisen taking a lot of damage here already. If he can find something big to end this stock in orange. There's a weapon spawn. Swata with a falling nair. Stomp nair again. Swata starting to run away with this one. Heisen in trouble. Needs another side air. Mm. Oh no. Caught him on the jump. Weapon tosses. Oh no. This is trouble. Bad spot for Heisen. Any second now, any KO move he takes, he's going to be done. He needs something big. Still hasn't found the option to take away this stock yet. He's just running away from Swata's hammer, and I don't blame him. Spawn comes in. Oh, no! Swata grabs it, goes in deep, gets the axe ground pound for the KO. Heisen putting up one hell of a fight, but he just couldn't handle the Taros. Man, whoever told Heisen to play core is still right. <laughs> really well played from Heisen and Swata. Swata with a swap back to the Taros to close out in game number five. And that means Swata going to be moving on, guaranteeing a top four finish in the loser's semifinal. Up next, we've got Simple versus Kixay. That's that lower bracket match. Simple and kick say this is a this is an interesting one considering like the hu I, I think there's a sizable disparity in PR between simple and uh, kick say Yeah, definitely. Uh, let me look that up for you and I can tell you right now kick say is coming in at PR 50